Hi. Hey, how you doing? Great. It's good to see you for the first time today. You too, man. <laughs> Welcome to the new meta episode 38. Yeah, My yeah. name is the P-Child. And I'm a Lord Fluffy. Lord Fluffy. So quick <laughs> asterisk to this podcast. Yeah. I don't know how to phrase it. Uh, we almost didn't get to have this mm -hmm. podcast mm -hmm. today because I'm still questioning. Lord Fluffy here <laughs> had uh, had an emergency wisdom tooth removal mm. this morning. So yeah, I got to I got to give you some credit for actually doing the podcast. I was like, man, you sure we could just you know take yeah. some time, let you heal up? And he's like, nope, I'm doing it. Yeah, I don't like doing to it. Skip, you know, the call him hooky. I've actually I'm, never I'm called you. in sick to my jobs, like ever, any one of them. Ever? Yeah. Dang. Iron Man Award. Yeah, yeah. Iron Man Award. Pretty stupid because I got sick days, but you know, hey. Yeah. That's, you know, got to use them up, dude. Uh, so anyway, I'm I'm glad that you're here. I'm yeah. sorry that you're feeling bad and you're yeah, on my pain face meds. And still numb. I like, I mumble swim. already. So like, I'm really trying to articulate tonight, <laughs> but like half my face doesn't want to cooperate. I'm with you. So what happened? Like, tell me, oh I, I didn't even know this was a thing. And you text, you, you know, you text me this morning, like, dude, emergency wisdom tooth may not be able to do the show. I don't know. Right. I'm like, okay. So, so I've up? been having pain in like my bottom right wisdom tooth. Um, all my wisdom tooth oh. actually came in like perfectly, which is weird. Um, hmm. And, uh, but I had some decay and like my bottom right one because they're just like wisdom tooth, are, like the worst to clean. And... Yeah. Uh, just the last couple of weeks, I've been having some pain. It's just been getting worse and worse and worse, and to the point where it's like it's costing me sleep and stuff like that. So I'm like, "Fuck!" Like I gotta get this out. And so my neighbor is actually like a dental hygienist. She like set me up with an appointment and all that stuff. And I don't have insurance yeah. right now, so I was like looking on the cheap, you know. Yeah. And, um, so, black market right. wisdom, black market dentist. So she <laughs> you're like, like, "Oh yeah," hooks me up. Liver's and, missing. <laughs> yeah, she hooks me up and. <laughs> I go out there today, and and I don't know what it is. I don't know if you're the same way, but like you know when they like inject you, and they're like giving you the juice in your in your gums. Mm -hmm. Like it, for mm -hmm. me, it always mm -hmm. takes like three, four, five times. Like always takes way mm -hmm. more. They, yeah, they shoot you a lot, mm -hmm. right? And so today they're doing that, and he's like, he's in there, and he he comes in at the first time, he's like, oh, you still feel stuff, and he he's like, he's like, I pride myself on like people being numb, like I'm. I'm like good at like this is what I'm good at, and so he does it the first time. <laughs> Doesn't take, like felt everything when he came back in. He does it the second time, and he starts to like do stuff. And I'm like, oh no, wow, I still felt that. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh god, yeah. And yeah. so then he goes in there a third time, and he's like jabbing exactly where the pain is. He's like, do you feel that? It's like, no, I don't feel shit. But as soon as he like start pulling or drilling, I feel everything. It was insane. Yeah. It was so fucking weird. It's like I, there's some nerve that like we just can't seem to like numb. And it's like Couldn't hanging it in there. And so he's like, "Well, I guess we're gonna have to reschedule, and we'll put you under." And I was like, oh, "Then I had to that? deal. I had to find another appointment because it took me like four days just to get this one." And they squeeze me in because like they know someone, right? And right. like I don't want to live with the pain anymore. So I'm like. Fuck, like, let's just do this. Like, let's just fucking do this. Because he's like, we're going to have to put you under. And if he puts me under, it's like three, four times the cost. And so I was like, fuck, man, let's just do this. And so I was like, maybe, a, you know, maybe it's just that one thing that you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, totally oh, wrong. So I'm just like God. fucking sitting there and I'm like You're dying. trembling. And he's like in there drilling. And it was like decay. So like he's pulling out every root and it's like breaking. Like my tooth's breaking. So he has to like. Yeah, it came out in like three big parts, but he's in there like eight yeah. times, and it's like it's like it was the stuff of nightmares. Like feeling everything and drilling in there, like feeling the like the bone shards flying around, and like him pulling it out and feeling it pulled out. Yeah. It was like I was being tortured. It was like I might have psychological damage after that. <laughs> You're never going to the no. Ever I again. honestly like, like I I came home and like I, I I'd gone to get like. The hydrocodone, I which I haven't taken, um, but I was like, just in case, I went and got that filled, and I got some groceries, like soft foods, and I sat mm -hmm. down, and I emptied the groceries, and then like, thirty minutes went by, and I don't really, I don't know if like I was in shock, or what, but like I was just like <laughs> sitting in my kitchen, like, what am I supposed to be doing? Like it was weird. <laughs> 
That's crazy. Oh, so bad, man. So that sounds bad. like an amazing morning, man. That sounds yeah. like a pretty good, Great. pretty good day. So, I mean, your day can only go up from there, right? Oh, you know, I, I don't know what can be worse. But I'm still numb, so uh, I'm afraid. Like when this goes away, like I'm gonna it's gonna fucking hurt really die. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did he did he explain dry socket to you? Uh, I don't. I think he might have, but I forgot. But I, I, I see you're going this. Like you had an also mm-hmm. a nightmare story. Right, mm-hmm. with fucking wizard. Yeah, so I got mine taken out like 15 years ago ish, yeah. but um, you know, I was in my early 20s. I had moved out. I had my own place. I was bacheloring it up, and you know, I, same thing. You know, I get this tooth pain in the back, and it it nags for weeks and weeks before you finally decide maybe I should go do something about this. You know, <laughs> yeah. And I go in there, and um, doctor comes in, and he's like, looks a little bit. He's like, well, you know, uh, you need to remove all four wisdom teeth. <laughs> and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, okay. And he's like, so we're going to schedule that up. I'm like, all right, cool. So I schedule it up. Was he saying that, like they're impacted it, or like what? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, there was pain and I don't remember. Mm-hmm. It's too long ago now. But basically he's like, we need to do all four. I'm like, all right, cool. But they put me under. You know, he's like, I'm not even going to fuck around. You're doing all four. You're just going to go under. And I'm like, all right, cool. So... um, he, he puts me under, does a thing. I, I remember before I faded all the way out, him drilling out the first tooth. And you can feel it in your jaw. It's like super unnerving feeling. I hated it. Mm-hmm. But um, does that, all that stuff. Man, I go home. My my uh, I had my mom come with me, and she drove me home and dropped me off. And she's like, all right, you need me to stay or anything? I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. She's like, all right. She took off. And I woke up after the the, the numbing medicine he gave me wore off. I don't know exactly what happened, but I ended up getting dry socket in all four of my teeth. What is, what is that? I don't even remember exactly, but basically it has something to do with like you cause some kind of blood vessel to pop in the root. So I don't know. A I, painful I don't, dental I don't condition remember. that sometimes happens after you have a permanent adult tooth extracted. Dry socket is when the blood clot at the side of the tooth extraction yeah. fails to develop or dislodges and dissolves before the wound is healed. That sounds really yeah. fun yeah it, it was bad so did you get like all it was four? the worst pain ever all, all four from what he said because oh, I, I went back in so this i did it on a friday right so i didn't have to take time off work you know or i took a friday afternoon off and then i had saturday and sunday to heal go back to work on monday so i he, he gave me like i want to say i don't know if it was viking i don't know what it was but it was like crazy pain meds right and so i'm taking these pain meds and it's doing absolutely nothing like absolutely zero and uh, to the point where I'm like laying in the dark with the lights off, TV off, everything off. And I'm just kind of like rolling around in agony all night, all weekend. Monday morning comes, I'm dying. I call him up and I'm like, this is some bullshit. I don't know what's going on. And he's like, go ahead and come in. So I drive in there and he's like, oh, you got dry socket in all four of them. He's like, oh my God, why did you not go to the emergency room? <laughs> he's like, you had to have been in the worst pain I've ever could imagine. And it was it was so funny. But uh, yeah, it was probably one of the worst weekends of my entire life so was it like I, I think something I that you did or it's just like he just didn't know, man. seal him up probably like that sounds fucking i don't crap, I, man. I have no idea it was it was bad so i i think it's like supposedly you're not supposed to use a straw and things because it can cause that to happen but i don't think i did i don't really know what caused it mm-hmm. I, I have no idea mm-hmm. so i feel you man i feel your pain and ever since then i've been kind of scared of the dentist so i don't fucking you know, blame don't like him yeah That's don't awful. like him dude it's awful awful experience but yeah Chat, draw a poll don't get your wisdom teeth taken oh my god i know and i have <laughs> yeah. two left i have two left on the top and they're like well you should get these because they're always like yeah you should get them taken out there's like this big like you know yeah. d- you gotta get them out preventative science or whatever but i'm like man they're fine mm-hmm. just like leave them alone if it's not hurting don't right like it you know what i mean and they can like keep growing i guess like you see some photos of like wisdom teeth like they, if there's no counter tooth they can just like keep going forever so like i mean how how do they all do they long. stop going for man they keep growing in life i guess hmm interesting yeah it's pretty i don't know <laughs> if you we had uh <laughs> we had some straw pulls from last week mm-hmm. um so let's let's jump into a little bit of yeah. diablo so a little bit of diablo yeah you know you actually this is a dental stream now uh yeah. what would you rather yeah. see uh for the seasonal theme for next season uh, is what we asked last week weekend Last mm-hmm. week, wow. Um, well, one was extra weapon slot in the cube, which would be like necros would be gods. 
to a new legendary gem, which would be cool, but I don't like what could they even? I don't know. Uh, three season of COE, which would be just the fucking worst. <laughs> can you can you throw it on the screen? Oh so shit! Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Bing, boom, boom. Um, boom. And season of Paragon Cap, which is something they had. They should have been trying. Like they can make it a seasonal theme if they want, but it's something they should try anyways. Um. So yeah, what do, I mean, first, what would you want, and second, what do you think it is? Um, let's see. If I start, I, I I'm gonna go with the extra weapon slot. I think that's gonna give us the most, uh, hopefully, variety. Mm -hmm. Although I think that could be super super reliant on one or two weapons. But, um, and. I got to imagine that's it. That's got to be the result. I think it's going to be weapon, and I think chat's going to pick weapon. Viewers think, are going to pick weapon. Yeah, like extra sweat slot would be the biggest seasonal theme. Like a I new think legendary there's a lot of gem, Paragon cap lovers out there. A new legendary gem, like well, that wouldn't really be a seasonal thing. Like hopefully, if they added a new gem, it would fucking be a new gem carry over. Right. I mean, but it could it could be season only and then yeah, roll yeah, over yeah. after yeah. the season. So that yeah. would be probably make which would be kind of cool because right? then then we get to keep it right. right. You know, content, so. Yeah. That could be cool, I guess. Oh my god, please no. And <laughs> yeah, please. Paragon Cap would, would be nice. I think this one's going to get some votes. But I guess, yeah. I, I think I, Paragon Cap's going to get some votes. I think Weapon Cube will win. Okay. Okay, and what would Let's you see. want? Let's follow up. I'm going to go Weapon, even though I think it's going to be yeah. narrowed down to Furnace. For, furnace for like every class. Maybe NGOM for a couple. I'll of go them. with Gem. I'm going to vote. Gem? Okay. All right. Extra, you would be correct. Extra Weapon Slot in the Cube. 50% of the vote. God damn. Mm -hmm. Necro would be a god, by the way. Necro has like the best weapons. <laughs> um, season of Paragon Cap got number two, 26% of the mm -hmm. vote. New Legendary Gem, 11% of the vote. And Season of COE, 10%. I'm surprised they even got votes. New Legendary Gem yeah. and Season of COE were almost tied. You I bet if we, if I guarantee if we would have put COE uh, uh, mechanic rework, that would have won. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Sure, I bet I bet it would have. People got to be tired of that, right? So that's interesting. Interesting. Yeah. New. We got a new poll for next mm -hmm, week, mm -hmm. and uh, for the new poll, this yeah, is yeah. something that that kind of I thought of because it. I was thinking about you know ideas and topics for today's discussion, and something that kind of hit me was um, we had there was a post. God, it was a couple months ago, three four months ago where somebody said it was like when this cross-platform news was really big with um, Switch and PlayStation and Xbox. And it made me think, do you think cross-platform play on console would be a good idea for Diablo 3? And one of the uh, Blizzard, I think it was a Blizzard dev, said that it, it's it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when for Diablo 3. Mm. And then it kind of just faded. After the whole BlizzCon and Diablo yeah. Immortal thing, it just like kind of got blown away. Like people forgot about it. Right. And I kind of want to bring it back up because I want to know what you guys think, man. Is this something that you guys would... It would be cool for all you console players out there, you know? Is it something that you would be excited about or... Eh, I don't care. Mm -hmm. so I'm that's not the even... Yeah, we're not even going to talk about it. We're not even talking about it yet. We'll talk about it next week. But oh my God, I have so much to say on this subject. <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right it's it's yeah yeah we can't i mean we can't because we can't we can't though we yeah. can't influence the poll can't influence the poll but i'm with you i'm with you i got a lot to say on that too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so um but yeah but you know and then if, if we go back to season 16 uh i've been grinding season 16 pretty good i mean not super crazy but it's been keeping me interested enough to want to play diablo on a daily basis yeah um and Something that's been happening this season, at least to me, that's I've never noticed before, and I don't know if it's two point six point four. I don't know what's going on, but I keep getting micro stutters mm -hmm. this season, all the time, and it could be that I'm playing in pale. I, so I thought it was probably pain enhancer because it, you know, I didn't really notice it that much. I put pain enhancer in, and then I started knowing these stutters. So I tried to test. I tried to put pain enhancer in, do a couple of riffs, take it out, do a couple of riffs. It seems worse with Pain Enhancer, no doubt, but I still have it even without Pain Enhancer. Yeah. And so this is something that I would, you know, in the YouTube comment sections or on Twitter or whatever, hit hit me up and let me know. I'm genuinely curious if this is an isolated thing um, that 
a small few percentage of people are getting, or is this a global thing where everybody's like, yes, it's effective? <laughs> I mean, I found a pretty highly upvoted Reddit post on, on the issue. Um, oh, did you? Yeah, it seems awesome. like a lot, of, see that. a lot of people are getting the same thing. Um, I mean, it's just <laughs> filled with comments on everyone experiencing the same stuff. And I had this, like, I haven't really had it bad this season. I get some stutters, but not like, season 12, for whatever reason, for me, was like, just the worst. It was just the worst. I mean, and I, I've like had lagging. stutters bad know. enough. Man, I, I've had them bad enough where if I'm like, if I were playing hardcore, I would log out right now and not play anymore tonight. I mean, it's it's definitely got me killed. Yeah. Um, and it's definitely been a second or two at, at some spots. It's like, what? The, what? You know, you're in the middle of a laser show and all of a sudden the game just freezes for a solid second. Yeah. It's like, if you're on hardcore, there's no way. You know, there's absolutely no way. Yeah. I was playing on so. Sunday, and I actually had, like, latency kill me for, like, the first time in a while. Like, mm. I was out of a spear, and, like, then I was, like, dead where the spear was thrown. And I would think it would be 2.6.4 damage numbers, but the rifts that I'm doing aren't crazy. I mean, we're doing, like, 105s. I mean, people, we've been doing 105s for seasons. You know, it's not like we were running rats way past that mm. for the last couple seasons, so... um I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know what's going on with these micro stutters, but it's definitely, definitely would would be cool if we could get. Uh, oh, look at this! There's a something. community post on it. Someone just oh. linked in chat. Oh, nice. Uh, from Nebulous. What is that? It says, "Hey, all. I want to clarify that pain enhancer specifically isn't necessarily the culprit. However, we have identified an issue with the lag that arises primarily at high GR rift levels, 100 plus, in four man groups." While we sometimes see issues arise in other cases, uh, these high intensity areas where the issue appears most reliably. Aren't they talking about like the fucking density light you get in four man? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, while we don't have a current ETA, you might have seen a PTR launch this week that you're unable to access. That's because we're duplicating the live environment to run on some of our own tests to hone in on the possible solutions. We appreciate all the reports and details and discussions that have arised on the issue as has helped us immensely in confirming some of our own investigations. Uh, once we have an actionable fix, we'll follow up with more information. Thanks to you for your patience, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Well, I'm sure you wanted to read a post out loud with a numb mouth. Yeah, well, three hours ago. That was probably on your list. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Uh, that's cool. So at least they're addressing the issue and stuff. I personally tried to test it just so I could give some feedback. In you know, on what was causing it, but, um, but cool, cool, cool. I hope that they get some solutions. So. Yeah, let's hope. That would be, that would be awesome. I mean, good for them uh, for saying something. They usually just like, you know. Yeah, don't yeah, that's cool. Like anything. I said, I, I got nothing but, but uh, thank you yep. for that one. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then here, something else. So we'll, yeah. we'll switch topics. I, this is, so. When you said that in the schedule, I was like, oh my God, you're fucking right. Uh, so this is something that, that just, it, it, it just kind of like I was digging around for stuff and looking at stuff and it, I kind of just came across this and it's like as soon as the Diablo 4, or I mean the Diablo Immortal, <laughs> pardon me, the Diablo <laughs> Immortal announcement was made. Too soon. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the, the social media for Diablo switched to the Diablo Immortal icon, which is the D and the I symbol, right? Mm -hmm. It's like the big D with the I behind it. It's a cool looking symbol. It, it is a cool yeah. looking symbol. And the then, is the best part of the album. <laughs> shortly after that, the the icon they had the negative backlash. The icon switched back to the mm -hmm. Diablo three symbol, mm -hmm. and um, I just thought that was interesting. I mean, it it you know, yeah. Diablo went from the Diablo Immortal. And they're like, uh, yeah, nah, let's totally, go back. Like I totally forgot about 3. that because I remember seeing that and being like, mm -hmm. uh -huh. me too. Because like interesting. Because has some. There's some insight there as well. Like, they actually did expect people to be hyped about it, and then like, ooh, let's change our Twitter photo yeah. to Diablo Immortal. Mm -hmm. And it's been it's been. I mean, what BlizzCon was in November. It was November first, right? So mm -hmm. we got all of November, December, January. I mean, we're in the starting the fourth month now since BlizzCon, um, and we haven't heard any news on anything really no diablo immortal news yeah no diablo 4 news mm -mm. um they you 264. know told us we're working on projects sure. and things like this and that kind of faded away after um, there was a couple posts like we hear you we hear you and then now we're you know nothing really mm -hmm. um 
it's just interesting, man. I'm surprised. I'm surprised there hasn't been some Diablo Immortal information out there. Like, hey, uh, we're working. It's coming along good. This is what we're working on. Check out this teaser trailer. Check out this gameplay footage. Check out anything. You know, does that surprise you that we've that it's been radio silence? I mean, I don't know what to say here because, like, you look at literally every post Diablo makes because they've actually been really active the last two mm -hmm. weeks they on have. Twitter. Like, way more active than mm -hmm. they've been. And it's just, like, toxic. It's just toxic bullshit for, like, comments and comments and comments. People, people still post red shirt guy and, like, think that The that's... jokes never stop in <laughs> Twitch. Like... The jokes now, and and I I have to admit, like I make a joke every now and then. I sure. do it, I do it out of just kind of being funny. I don't necessarily mean it when I say it, you know. Like my my outlook has has been, and it will be until the game is actually on my phone and I play it. I'm not going to make a judgment call. It's not what we want, right. you know what I mean? We want Diablo Four, but sure, it could be a really awesome mobile game, you know? Right, but it's not even um, like this is a Diablo, but it does immortal stop. tweet. It's a fucking yeah. Diablo 3 tweet. <laughs> it's like There's anything no they say. Pissed. So can you imagine if they made like a Diablo Immortal tweet? Yeah, you think you think they're scared of it now? You think yeah. if, if the reaction was better, we'd have more info? Probably, yeah. They'd probably be coming out with like little, you know, gifts with like a new skill and shit like that. I wish there was a way to give pause. Like there, I don't see any way that, that this game could ever get constructive feedback from the community. And, and well, that's not true. The they can just delete all the negative comments. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. oh, oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Blizzard, I'm sorry. Please uh, work with me. Listen, that was fluff. It was not me. Please invite <laughs> me to events. I did not say that. So anyways, um, I don't know, man. I think it would be really hard for them to get positive feedback on this game if they if they're like hey man we're gonna do a, a ptr or, or a, a test demo for people and check it out what do you what do you think about this yeah microtransaction system regardless if it's a great transaction system or not people are gonna be like you know yeah this game yeah you know and you know we're gonna talk about some other games later on that ugh, along the lines of what you just said are right, they're doing stuff it's and it's fucking cool so i would love to see yeah, we'll do more of that, but we'll get into that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope that there yeah, is. Yeah, you know, I was thinking of... about fucking uh, the, you know, November 1st thing, BlizzCon. Like, mm -hmm. there's so many probably little things. Like, man, I wish it would, we should have documented better because there's so many like little things like this where they changed, you know, mm -hmm. the, the Diablo Twitter photo and. Just like just weird, and that oh, when we like walked in, I think we did talk about this. Maybe when we walked in, like they were playing the Diablo two music, Diablo two music, like yeah, man. for the whole intro. It wasn't like that they were it, circling it's between. Still blows my mind. God, I thought we were gonna get Diablo wow. two. You know what I mean? Like I'm sitting there and I'm like, I remember we're gonna here it is. This is it. Right. This is it. And then and they pumped up our yeah. feels with the Diablo. The Diablo two, two music was a hundred percent when I was like, "Oh, we're getting it." You know, we're <laughs> yeah. walking in yeah. to go to the main thing, and it's like Diablo. Like you noticed it first, you're like Diablo two music, and yeah. I'm like, "Oh shit, you're That's right. It. That is, mm -hmm. it's done. We're getting Diablo two remastered." And we we're like, "Fuck yeah!" You know what I mean? Like right. we we're kind of excited. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. It's and there crazy. was a station set up. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. But we were in line. Uh, we were in line. You remember that? And someone was tweeting at us. With some photos. Do you guys, you guys remember when your girlfriend crushed your heart? Do you guys remember? You ever relive those memories? It's kind of like someone was crazy. tweeting at us with photos of like, hey, there's a there's a demo area and it's set up in the Diablo uh -huh. section, and we're like, oh shit! And then the boxes, mm -hmm. like they look kind of small. They're big. I don't know, man. I didn't know. I, I was like, what is that? I assumed it was like more switch, more switches, and they were. Like, I thought it was switches. Yeah, I thought we were getting switch stuff. Yeah, but. But I think, like an expansion, BlizzCon, maybe for Diablo. I think yeah, that's what we had, we had, right? yeah, we had because we had that that confirmation of the ring with like extra juicy stats and and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That was before BlizzCon, I think, went mm -hmm. in. So, so we were I like, think we were Ooh. thinking switch switch announcement with expansion. future Druid or future and something. to promote it, they're gonna let us play the expansion on the Switch. And that's what on we kind of thought mm -hmm. the new station was. So. We were wrong. Yeah, <laughs> we, we were wrong, Chet. Big time, super wrong. Big time wrong. But yeah. Um, but yeah, that's you know, 
that's it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of kind of just something I noticed, and I thought it was right. It was interesting. You know, never talked about it. Uh, we got uh, we got a tweet from yeah. one of our community members, Mystic. So you want to talk about this for a second? Us. Yeah. And it's just like I mean, we can all nerd out cool, and stuff man. like this. Like this guy took time to make a three D rendering of like a. And to me, this is Diablo. more of like a proper Diablo. Like it's mm -hmm. the big menacing looking dude. I think the face evil could be looking a dude. little bit more evil. The face could be a little more evil. If I'm being honest, he's got a pretty big horn. Yeah, well, it's the red you know soul shirt, saying? you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, but yeah, it just like this yeah. looks. I don't know. It sounds about the Diablo three Diablo. It just never like it was like oh fuck like this is gonna fuck me up. It's just like <laughs> I don't know because <laughs> boobies. I have no idea. <laughs> it could be. I don't know. I don't know. No idea. It was. Yeah, you know. and vanilla he was kind of hard. He was a little difficult. He yeah. wasn't Belial hard, but right. he was hard. Mm -hmm. You know. Now um, Belial was a great, great fight. Like Belial was. Yeah. Did you get stuck at Belial when you first got Absolutely. to him? Like he kicked Every, my ass. Who didn't? Like he kicked my ass yeah. so bad. I'm like, this is impossible. You remember fighting I'm never the gonna beat this guy. shapeshifter rat, and you're like, oh, this guy's easy. And then it's like the yeah. whole fucking world falls, and it's like, what? You just. <laughs> yeah, and you're you're dodging pools and and yeah. oh my god, didn't it used to not zoom out as much too? I swear that they zoomed it out Did more they? later on. I don't know, but I I definitely remember him kicking my ass, yeah. and I'm like, oh my, you know. Right. So you don't get. Did, like, would you play a barb? Yeah. Did you play a barb in vanilla? Yeah, yeah. I sure. think monk. I think I think monks could beat him. I think monks had enough life on hit or something. Yeah, I mean, they I did actually, it with life on like, hit and frenzy, but I that's what I did too. Forever. <laughs> Farming pots and skeleton king level to get gold <laughs> to buy a life per hit weapon on yeah. the real money auction. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. So we did that. Yeah, um, that's cool. Yeah, appreciate and you then sharing that. The uh, yeah, that is a really cool rendering. So my hats off, man. I think it'd be cool to have the skills to be able to do things like that. Yeah, so. for sure. Um, Hard to make and then another yourself. big Reddit post we saw was um, <laughs> the the what do you want to call this? The petition. To bring Decker yeah, Kane back. This was crazy, man. <laughs> that surprises me too. 700 plus of votes. Like, the, like they better bring Decker Kane back to for for Diablo Four, and like, does it count if it's a prequel? I mean, I guess. But even if it wasn't, like, this is like wow. Like this, I kind of when I read this and I saw this, it's like, man, I I do get really. I feel like I get really out of touch with like a lot of the Diablo community. Because, like, mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck who's in Diablo 4. <laughs> like, <laughs> make a good game. Decker yeah. Kane is just, like, some annoying voiceover. I'm sorry if people are, like, rage on me, but Jesus Christ. He was a cool part of the story, man. He's sure. a cool part of the story, He got I killed guess. by a butterfly. I, I mean, it's cool. So my thing is, if you bring people back, it uh, unvalidates killing them. Yeah, it means that when somebody dies, you're like, oh, I'm not worried about it. They're sure. gonna bring him back. Can you we know? just be like, if somebody dies, they gotta die, dude. He forever. was like the last of the Harajim or something. Like, couldn't we have like, didn't maybe he he got it on with somebody? We can have like a Decker Kane 2.0, a little or Decker something. baby. Yeah, <laughs> like, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, I don't um, know. It's, or we can resurrect fun. him. We've got Necros. We have the yeah. tools. A Decker Kane golem running around, just smashing sure. stuff. You know, sure. What happens? Like, though. what happens to people when they die in sanctuary? Do they go to heaven or hell? Like, well, it's a good question. I don't know why I've never oh. thought about this before. I haven't either. That's the intro to uh, Diablo Four, right there. Yeah, you know it's I mean? like so. If he goes to hell, you play, like, you play Decker Kane yeah. after he dies, and you have to traverse and. and I assume he goes to hell. I don't maybe know. you could pick if you're going to go to heaven or hell. You know, like that's that's how you pick. Uh, what side you want to be on? Because there better be factions. You know what I mean? I yeah, want to like play, the angels. Play angels don't character. give a shit about you, and, and demons want to fucking kill you. So it's like, where do you go? All right. Let's let's just be demons, man. I guess. Yeah. And you can kill people. <sighs> it could be evil. But yeah, it's weird. So like maybe Diablo Four, he's in hell, and like you know, Asmodean's like just poking him with the stick, and he's he's hating it. We got to go rescue him. <laughs> he's getting poked <laughs> with the stick for eternity. He's just yeah. like, you yeah. like this shit. Yeah. As Dan, Chinese water torture, big old nipple yeah. rings, just poking him with the stick, <laughs> just poking him with the stick. That's funny, man. Um, that's really about it, man. The season, as far as the season goes, uh, 
I'm still having a good time with this season, man. I think season 16 is uh it's been cool man this has been one of my favorite seasonal themes by far Mm. um i'm kind of in a weird spot where i want to play extra classes even though i even though it's a short season i want to play barb still i want to play monk still and i kind of want to play a wizard and i'm not going to have time to play all those characters and then the seasonal theme is going to be gone and that opportunity to play them with this power is gone yeah so I like that a lot because it feels like it's like you need to play the game mm-hmm. right now. And mm-hmm. I, I don't really have that urgency. It's like, uh, right. Like, oh, well, next season, I'm good I'll with this Charged season. Barb. Next season. Yeah, you exactly. No, and <laughs> it's over. You can't. It's like if you want to play it with, you know, focus and restraint, you're doing it this season. Mm-hmm. If you want to play Tarasha Wiz with, with Traveler's Pledge Compass Rose, it's this season, you know? And um, that's cool, man. I like that, mm-hmm. actually. And I, I hope. Whatever they do next season is as good or better. It needs to be better, but uh, I like it. I think it's cool. So. Yeah, I'm down with that. It's mm-hmm. totally cool. Totally cool. Mm-hmm. In uh, the gaming world, actually, real quick, we skipped over one more thing. One little okay. tiny one. I just wanted to do a right. quick PSA. I get this question all the time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So nice. guys, succubus, succubus. You know those, you know, little witch gate ladies with wings. They shoot out the little mm-hmm. succubus balls, right? Those are physical damage. And I get this question all the time. It doesn't make sense why it's physical damage, really. Uh, but for some reason, it's physical damage. So that's why I always say, you know, when you're stacking up your secondary resistances on gear, like say you're like an int class and you don't want to roll all reds because it's kind of worthless. But you can get something on the secondary physical. Because physical will block spears. Not block. Sorry, that's not the right word. They'll mitigate mm-hmm. spears. And a little middle gate succubus balls. So, PSA. Does it do tongue lashers too? I think that's physical yeah, as well. I think well. that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that's so. a really good thing to stat on your secondary gear. That's why I always recommend it. Uh, and if you can get like the mm-hmm. melee damage reduction, range damage reduction, that helps a lot too. But people For are always sure. like, is that fire? Is that. And there's really like no great science behind how we know. The only thing we can really do is put on the immunity necklaces. And the only one we don't yep. have is a physical. And we take right. damage. So, like, we put on fire and we get hit by a second spawn and still take damage. So, like, that's really the only way we know. Because there's no, like, chat logs that says, you've been hit for 700 physical damage, right? So <laughs> Would be kind of cool, though. Yeah. It? There's, there are things that I want to test. Like, you, you know, sometimes you ask questions like, well, if the strong arm bracers stack. Mm-hmm. And it's, you know, a lot of people are like, yeah, they do. And a lot of people are like, no, they don't. Damage. And it's like, well, there's... Right? There's no real way to test. Like, right. You can't, <laughs> it's like, I think I saw my just, number go up 30%. Yeah, it's like, you know, right. So let's let's get naked and we'll just right. put strong arms on and we'll charge through mobs. And then you got to charge through too and let's see if they stack up. Mm-hmm. It's so hard to test it. Um, yeah. And uh, I, I think that would be a chat log. I don't know. I, I kind of like Diablo's, not knowing some of those things, yeah. but I kind of like to know too. It kind of it, it goes both ways. Diablo's you know? not very test friendly. It's really not. Mm-mm. Like you even look at their public test realm, and you know we talked about it. Like there's no vendor to get. I mean, there's a vendor to get stuff from, but it's like, I mean, you still spend blood free. charge. You got to play to get what you mm-hmm. want, and you know, still RNG, so you like can't get the stats you want. You just have to like keep grinding on PTR, which doesn't feel great. Like grind on ptr because like it doesn't do anything for you yeah so. i don't and and the the point of the ptr is the test and i right. imagine most of their tests are can you break this right what's the highest greater rift you can do right give us gg primals sure and let it's us, like there's been so many times let us go PTR, nuts, man. and i can be like oh I, w- I bet i could push like a 105 110 with this maybe even more i just have to get like area damage on everything and i was like well i don't have yeah. area damage on anything <laughs> like yeah uh, it's gonna take me forever so, just to farm that out Make right. the make the mats cost nothing and make the boxes drop primals. Mm-hmm. Just an idea. I sure. mean, I don't see what it would hurt to do that. Mm-hmm. I really don't. Let us just pick our stats. Like, who cares? Yep. It's PTR. Or, yeah. Right. Let us pick so. our stats and cap Paragon 2K. We've been talking a lot. So before we, we jump off, and this is kind of something just off topic, mm-hmm. but we've been talking a lot about uh, going back over and over all week about primal dust. And, and yeah. the things that they can use primal dust for, and I just I just want to rehash this in case we have new viewers that maybe haven't heard of this, or you know, it, just to bring it up because I, I really hope in the quality of life changes that hopefully we're going to get in the future, if they can get any kind of new features added whatsoever, I can't 
even begin to to explain how awesome that would be for the game to have a primal dust currency that you could grind out and it's got to be silly it's got to be expensive to do Mm -hmm. you know 20 primals have to be destroyed to re-roll a primal one time you know something kind of ridiculous um but it it would uh, this season to me has been people linking me all the crappy primals they get yeah and I don't think they're doing it in a way to complain. I think it's just become this thing of like, well, I'm getting these primals, but man, I can't get anything I actually right. want. Like I, I'm getting follower items. And, and then, you know, somebody will link me a primal uh, compass rose, for example, and it's like the worst right. primal way you could possibly right. get. And I'm like, that's a complete piece of garbage. Right. You know, sorry, dude. So Yeah, and yeah. all the garbage primals we see that like it's never going to be used in any build. Ever probably you could do something with it, mm-hmm. um, yeah, for sure. I would love to see like what you said, where it's like the primal desk where you can reforge a primal to be a primal again. Mm-hmm. And then that post, I don't know if you remember, but like I don't know, 25 podcasts ago, we looked at that yeah. one quality of life huge thread, and they had like the little yep. hammer where you could like re re roll again, like re roll a second time. Like that would be really nice too, yeah, that would be cool too, yeah. Maybe and, and those were maybe even the cubes, uh, an additional cube that would drop right. or something. But it's consumables that. work, right? Like you look at PoE. PoE is literally all about consumables. Like everything mm-hmm. is about consumables. Uh, so and they obviously work. And I would love to see Diablo have more, like more Romaldi's yep. gifts, more more stuff like yeah. that. So more yeah. style of items that get consumed. You have yeah. to farm them. Right. They're gone. You know, you need to use it. And make them so, rare as fuck, get, and, man. I don't care. Yeah. yeah, and those are things that you get excited for. Yeah. Like, if you had a re-roll cube and you got a re-roll cube, you'd be like, oh, baby, yeah. I just got a re-roll cube. Oh, crap. And then and then you're like, oh, man, what am I going to re-roll? Right. I got these gloves that are almost GG but not quite. I got this weapon, right. a quiver. I don't know, you know. And be a fight so. not to, like, use it. Like all like yeah. the first month of the yeah. season. You're yeah, like, oh, you're like, oh, but I don't have a primal. I don't have a primal right. this or that. I'm going to just save it. I'm going to save it. Yeah. You know, so. That'd be cool. I'm You'd with be you, man. More, be awesome. way more hyped for something like that to drop than you would be a primal. Yeah, even yeah, even that. I mean, it would be it would be next yeah. level. Have you noticed the red beam and the, the is that a pentagon? Pent- Whatever shape pentagram? they have. Mm-hmm. Pentagram? Yeah, I don't even know. I, I haven't noticed it at all once I even. did. I did notice it once, yeah. My chat noticed it once because they're like, you got a primal chess piece. And I'm like, I did? How do well, you guys know? So like when you play like, like I saw it. Pestilence, you know, like you're just literally blood rushing and stuff dies behind you. And uh-huh. so it was actually pretty handy because like, I had like the pentagram pop up. And I was like, what the fuck? Oh, right. You're like, oh. That's the new thing. So that's cool. I went back that's what I want to happen. I want to be like, pull the map up and then see one of those just sitting on the back of the map. Like, oh, oh, yeah, right. let's go get it. But um, no, the only ones I've gotten have been off the Rift Guardian. And I, when the Rift Guardian dies, I'm sitting there spamming left click just to pick the loot up. And what's interesting is I went back and watched the replay when I got it because I wanted to be like, well, I want to see what it looks like. If you get it, let's say it's the first legendary to drop from the Rift Guardian and he drops more things, then those icons cover up yeah. the, the, leg- the primal icon. So... I don't know if that's something that Blizzard can tweak or not, but that needs to, to me, be top. It needs mm-hmm. to be on top of everything else so you know, like, oh, shit, I need to go get that. Yeah, and yeah. We actually, this conversation actually came up this week. I, I think, like, they could do a couple things. Um, one is they could add a special sound, but that wouldn't be mm-hmm. great in Diablo because a lot of the time you don't play with sound. I don't sound. play with sound, yeah. Um, two is they could add kind of, like, a pulse like a bigger pulse when it first drops, so you like mm-hmm. you can't miss it. It's like a yeah. Pew, yeah. kind of thing, and then it goes like to the red screen beam, flash right. or something. Maybe that'd be cool. Yeah, yep. I'm with you. Yeah, I mean, and those are you know, like I don't know how much effort it would take yeah. for them to do that, but at least moving it on top of the other items would be like okay, you know, I right. see it in that pile of loot. Yeah. So it was funny too, but it's still cool, man. The red borders are awesome, though. I yeah, love that. Cool. At quick glance, you can easily see like these are primal items I have on. These are primals in my stash. Don't accidentally blow those up. Yeah, you know. it's funny too because so. like last week we were just dicking around with our Elgato. I think you, you have Elgato 4K, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do. And so yeah. like you yeah. can go in your like game capture and you can like mess with the tent. And so like we were just yep. fucking with the tent and like the game was green. Like I was shooting out like I don't even know like green blood <laughs> novas, you know? Like and I was like, oh my god, How this is like our <laughs> this is our like you know like skill effects, alternate yeah. skill effects. It was cool to see like you know a blood nova be like green. 
You know what I mean? Like, it was just kind of yeah, cool yeah. looking. So I was just like, oh, yeah. we did it. We did I'm it. We it. should coin this and take off the money. <laughs> Here and I, here's another thought. I want your opinion on this. This was just like something I randomly thought about. I don't know if it's the drugs or what. But, okay, so we're playing Diablo 3. Every week, we're here talking about Diablo 3, the things we want to see mm-hmm. added to Diablo 3, the changes we want. We want to see change. We want to see content, right? Mm-hmm. Because we're, uh, you know, we feel, I don't know if we feel entitled to it, but it's a thing, right? Right. But at the same time, you look at, like, humans as a civilization and what's our most popular form of entertainment? Sports. I don't know. Sports, as, yeah, I was going to say. Sports. sports. So you look at football. Like, football's not getting, con- like, football hasn't changed mm-hmm. in forever. But we, like, accept it. Like, it's totally That's fine. That's because every football game is not the same. I mean, neither is a riff. It's, it's like that level of variation to me. I don't know. Okay. So it just seems like, I don't know. Well, why is the gaming, I just, this is just some stupid, you know, theoretical I don't know. I mean, but. it's, oh, the outcome. Okay. So here's the deal okay. with the sports. Okay, okay. The outcome with sports is you genuinely don't know who's going to win. But you know you're going to win a rift. Well, if you're you know pushing, you don't know if the, you're going to get it. The game is designed the game is designed for you to win. A game's not fun if you don't win. You have to win a little bit. There has to be a, a wall to push back against you, but it's designed for you to win. The campaign's designed for you to win in every game. The multiplayer is designed for you to win matchmaking. You match with people that are your skill level, so fifty percent of the time you'll win. But that's you, what they you don't try to always achieve. win, though. It's like this is not always, but you know. But you so design a sports team difference. to win, and it doesn't always win. But you, yeah, so they don't always win, and do. then people don't watch. <laughs> people don't watch. Look at the Cleveland Browns. So the okay? not winning is what you're saying. Cleveland <laughs> Browns haven't had a winning football season since like 195. You know what I mean? Like it's been forever. I don't know. I'm just making that up, but. Sure. People don't watch. They don't go to the games. You know what I mean? Okay, I, see I don't know. I so, don't. I don't know, man. I, but I'm with you, though. I, I I get it. We're we do feel gamers are entitled. Sure. That we feel we're entitled. You know, we 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 act like Blizzard owes us this thing. I think the difference is, uh, at least with me, is I'm willing to pay them for the things. I don't expect them to do it for free. Sure. Yeah. And I don't. I don't even want them to do it for free. I would gladly give them money to make the changes that I want. And I think there are so many people out there that feel that way. Um, it's almost like, do you guys want my money? It's like, you want money, right? right. That's your company. Like why? I don't understand. We want to pay you. Like, mm-hmm. you know, if we get a, if we get a GoFundMe and get, you know, millions of dollars in it and say, okay, can we buy devs to make this? Can we do that? You know, like, I don't know, you know, right. We, we, we want it and we're, we're willing to pay for it. Sure. But yeah, People are crazy. Yeah. And we're fickle too. Yeah. And gamers are so fickle. It's I, the greatest thing. It's, it's the worst thing. That's a stupid philosophical question for chat. I'm sure you guys will comment on my YouTube channel. Uh, but I just thought that was like, it's like, yeah, baseball didn't change. Fucking football didn't change. I mean, like, players change. So mm-hmm. I guess it's content. Mm-hmm. It's sometimes rules change. Like, you know, we we're talking about last week. I watched a chef's game for like my first game in like forever, 10 years. Mm-hmm. And like you can, chefs, yeah. you can dance in the end, end zone now, and like you, you could like <laughs> touch the quarterback, like like if you boop him on the nose, like it's an immediate flag, and mm-hmm. it, it's a whole different. I mean, it's not a whole different, but there's like, what the fuck was that? You know? So yeah, I guess that's content. I don't know. I, don't I guess, know. man. But there's no interactivity. I mean, I guess if you're in the fantasy football, there's interactivity. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, oh, my player's got to get a fucking touchdown or however we play fantasy foosball. But, like, I don't know. I think it's got to be the lack of control, though. You mm-hmm. know? I don't know. And, and and it's I think it's a gambling. Like, humans are addicted to gambling. Okay. I, I can't. I mean, I really think we are. Like, everybody likes to bet. You know, yeah, everyone, on everything. Everyone wants to, wants to get lucky in some way or another. That didn't yeah. that sounded dirty, it, but. It, 
No, <laughs> wait. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm with you. Uh, people, people want to gamble. People want to, and it, it's not in their control. So I don't know, man. And, and you're just maybe if it's just you're gambling on is my team gonna win? It's, it could be as simple as that. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, so what if you could like start but, a rift and you're like go necro? <laughs> I hope I get <laughs> enough. Like, like, yeah, like you gear your character up and you auto play the you auto play the level. You know, oh, the computer yeah. plays for you. Yeah. You're like, oh shit. Uh, wait, wait, people do that already. God damn. Oh. I... <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> um. Yeah. So, in other gaming news, yeah. man, there has been an absolute beast of a video game Bomb drop. that, for me, for me personally, came out of nowhere. Absolutely. I had not even heard of this game in my life apex legends came out it's a br it's mm -hmm. a com in my opinion direct fortnite competitor i mean it's a free to play br with microtransactions it, it's like they took fortnite's formula and they're like okay we're gonna put our twist on it and here you go right and um i had never heard of it yeah but it's it's knocked Fortnite into the fourth spot on Twitch for the first time in ever. I can't even remember the last time sure. Fortnite wasn't first. Like maybe in like a League of Legends tournament. Sure. Maybe. So know. a little background uh, on this game. Uh, it's Respawn. So it's the guys that made Titanfall, which okay. I think is actually a plus. I, I always thought in Titanfall games are like really good. It's just like I really wish it was just Fall without titan you know like the titans were pretty dumb and mm -hmm. like the, the game's all about titans and it's like man they they were so right with like how they got movement and how the guns felt and like the parkour was really really, really cool and the maps were decent um but like the mechs it's just like ugh, it's like a gimmick it was it was it was kind of dumb and so when i heard this was from respawn yeah. i'm like oh sweet and so like playing it it feels just like titanfall without the parkour basically which is a good thing it feels good i think it's a positive mm -hmm. thing yeah the guns are i haven't got a chance yeah. to play this yet i know that you played it you put you put some couple hours into it 12 hours um, stream yesterday. 12 hours into yeah. it nice man yeah. so it was good enough that you wanted to keep playing it yeah i mean i i, mean, I generally like brs i don't have a huge brs so like i didn't get into pubg I, I never really liked pubg i never liked h1z1 but like black ops i played a lot of i played a little bit of fortnite until i was just like a building is just not ever going to be something i'm interested in um yep and this honestly for a launch like i mean how many times have we seen it like like look at anthem like night and fucking mm -hmm. day like this was smooth as butter for a launch they yeah had, like one yeah. tiny little hiccup where it went down for like 10 minutes i think but like other than that like no like crazy game breaking bugs like i didn't encounter anything that in the 12 hours that I played, it was like, oh, shit, I got to quit out of this game because, like, I, I can't move. You know, I didn't get stuck anywhere. And you're, like, flying around. There's no, like, fall damage. Like, this guy just jumps off. There's no fall damage. You fly around the map. And I play a guy that has, like, a grappling hook, and it makes me, like, fly across the map and stuff like that. So. That's cool. I mean, it felt smooth, but, like, it felt really good for a release, especially in this day and age, right? Because it's, like, yeah. every game. I, I think out. it's interesting to see. I, I, I'm surprised that something bumped Fortnite out at least for i mean when when black ops 4 came out it, it bumped yeah it bumped Fortnite it out. out for like a day yeah maybe two right this has been there for a couple now sure. and i'm like okay we'll see i mean you know two weeks from now we'll see what what happens right um but i'm interested in it man it's it's it would be pretty nice to actually see some other competitive uh games out there that that kind of take the crown i'm tired of fortnite man yeah. i'm tired of hearing about it yeah tired of talking about it yeah i'm just tired of it and i don't even play it and i'm sure. tired of it sure. so even though it's a br it seems like that community of br people are just going to migrate to a new game whatever the game is sure i don't think it's you know there's such a strong community of, of those kinds of players but um i think this is going to reinforce that free-to-play microtransaction model yeah. again if this game can actually pull it off right it's just another glimpse into the future, man. I think that this is going to make people go, damn it, guys. We need a free-to-play microtransaction game. Yeah, that's a big you know? thing. It's it's fucking free-to-play. So it's like it's going to keep high population, at least for a while. Because it's like you look at games out there right now. You, you Fortnite, it's free-to-play. And if you like yeah. really like Fortnite, well, okay. Keep playing Fortnite. 
<laughs> you know, like See, the, the, yeah. And the, the, the thing about this play. game is, I would never pay money for this game if right. it costs money yeah. because I'm not a BR fan. Same. But I will probably play this game for fun. Yeah. Because it's free, and right. then if I like it, cool, I'll throw them some money. Right. And if I don't, well, hey, fuck, I tried. Yeah, it, I had you know, whatever. Friends were like, yeah. is it worth checking out? I was like, well, it's free to play. It's I mean, free. of course, right. it's worth checking out. You download it, it's 20 <laughs> right. gigabytes, like no big deal. Just get the game. Right. Try it and exactly. make your own opinion on it. So interesting, man. It's yeah. it's um it's it's class system, which I mean I don't know I I don't know about that. I, I'm a, I'm a Halo player, so like I want even playing fields just across the board. So I've never been mm -hmm. a huge fan of classes, but I mean people seem to obviously love it because Overwatch and whatever. But it makes balancing way harder. Yeah, with the classes, and there's already like some abilities that seem to be standing out, a, a couple guns that seem to be standing out. Like they're I mean it's balanced. Like that's a hard thing. But one thing I kind of foreshadowed early in the stream is they. Flew out, like, they flew out the dock, they flew out Shroud, they flew out, like, some of the big BR streamers, and they, like, just had them, like, play test the game, give them feedback, and, like, for, like, two months, I think, like, back yeah. and forth, and, like, they could yeah. beta it all they wanted to and all that stuff. And and you know who amazing. else is doing this, Is and it kind of leads over to the next topic I wanted to hit really quick, too, but Division 2 has a VIP beta this weekend. And I'm kind of disappointed they're not doing a free open beta for everybody like Anthem did the following weekend. Mm -hmm. But um, but Division's VIP betas this weekend, I'm I have access to it. I've already pre-ordered Division Two. I'm, so they're I'm not, super excited. They're not doing game. open at all. I don't think so. Okay. I, I mean, maybe I missed the announcement, but I don't think so. Um, but you can get the VIP beta for free by signing up to. Not everybody's guaranteed though, so mm -hmm. it's not like you have to pre-order. Mm -hmm. They they are giving out some. But Division's been flying people out for months and letting these content creators and these community members and like, you know, YouTubers, Twitch people, I think Reddit people, like just, you know, uh, they, they flew out. There was a guy that had like the most logged hours in Division ever or whatever. They kept stats on that. Yeah, they contacted <laughs> this dude and, and, yeah. and they're like, hey, do you, he's not a streamer. He's not a YouTuber. They're just like, hey, do you want to come play the game? And then he's awesome. like, yeah, you know, come give us feedback and shit like that. So really cool. Um, but they're getting feedback from the community and letting them test us in the process and saying, Hey, you know, do you like what we're doing with right. it and, and taking that feedback? And that's something that, that destiny learned the hard way and they started doing, and they produced a great expansion. Right. And like you're saying with this, you, you know, uh, apex legends is doing it. Um, I think this is kind of the new thing. And I hope going forward, you know, we, we talked about this a little bit, but sure. if blizzard, if blizzard does something like this, man, I'm not saying it has to be me, but I hope they take, community members and yeah my hope for diablo is that they would take community members from like all walks of the community yeah, everywhere right because if mm -hmm. you take like you know like maybe Riker and some other people like really casual but really you know great community creators and stuff like that but you don't take anyone it's like maybe rank one every season or whatever like that's yeah. that, that would be a big mistake right so yep. yeah i mean it's a it's a fine line and i think it's a smart thing it's it's nice to have it's almost nice that these games have these like streamers and like content creators because it's like you can't like you do it open beta in this day and age and you're like oh gave us give us feedback you just get flooded like what what do you even look yeah. at you know so you need and you, you need all kinds of feedback too though yeah. you need the feedback from the casual you need the feedback from the hardcore you need the feedback from you know like all, yeah. all different places you know so it's um it's cool man and and I think that this is a, a great trend that hopefully the industry latches onto. Right. I think it's going to produce better games for all be of us. Great. So I'm ready. Yep. Yep. Blizzard. So Invite us. I don't know, man. I, I'm. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. Uh. I'm excited for the Division Two beta that's coming up this weekend. So mm -hmm. I can't wait to to talk about that a little bit next week, and uh, and see how that goes. Uh, I gotta. Um, do we talk? We haven't talked about Anthem again, have we? Because I gotta play. I don't Anthem think last so. Weekend. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Let's talk about it. Uh, it's pretty hard garbage. Uh, I, everyone's like, should you get it? I Anthem yeah. is one of those games It's like, you should wait. Like, you should wait yeah. and see what happens after that first week. You know, like... Here's my... Yeah, I'm with you, man. And, and here's why I think that. So, like, I had the VIP demo. Mm -hmm. And I played it a little bit. And I was like, man, I don't know. Yeah. And then I got the open demo. And they did improve some things between those. I don't know if people talked about it, but mm, they... the flight controls were definitely more polished the second week. They were still hot garbage, but they were polished. Mm. So it was like a polished turd instead of a raw turd. Interesting. Um, but um, I, 
I played the game Friday a lot, and I was going to stream. My, my initial plan was Friday, I'm going to stream the Anthem demo, right? And I played it that day for like two or three hours before stream. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm not streaming this garbage. Like, I'm not even having fun playing it. Right. There's no way it's going to be entertaining to watch. Yeah. So I, I, I didn't do it. And then Saturday came, and I woke up Saturday, and I'm like, I didn't really have anything to do. I was kind of bored. And I'm like, man, I don't really know what to do. I can either log into Diablo <laughs> and clean my stash, organize my stash, right? <laughs> yeah. That sounds like fun, right? Mm -hmm. Or I could play Anthem. I picked to log into Diablo and organize my stash over playing Anthem. Yeah. So I'm not – the game has so much freaking potential. Yeah. It's insane. I agree. But it's just not there. It's no. like they need another year of polishing this right. this game before it's ready to go. And then once they leaked out the end game content, it was like – so you know that big purple castle yeah. thing we did? There's three of them. Okay. Yeah. There's three of those purple castles. Stupid. I forget what they call it. Ba uh, strongholds. Strongholds. And and that's like really that's it. it. That's and like world it. events. You do you do and, like the free free port free what's what's yeah. the up mode where you just like go and explore and do oh, world free events? free roam. Free roam. Free roam. And yeah. then yeah. you get bounties from people mm -hmm. in town, which the whole town system in and of itself like you go back, you walk to your next quest giver in town and then you like walk bet like why even have that? walking in town is fucking brutal yeah. in that game too why is it just me that? or no, is exactly it like a saying. it looks like crap it yeah. doesn't look as good i don't know what happened in town but it looks like crap you can't sprint you walk slow as dirt it feels unnatural yeah it's just like it's such a waste why? of time it, the town is like a narrow corridor mm -hmm. hallway. It is not good. It's like this is the shittiest home hub I've ever seen. Like yeah. Vanilla WoW had a better home hub <laughs> than this. And so I don't know, man. I'm not happy with it. But that being said, it is a demo. It is like a six or seven week old uh, build from what they were saying. They could have done a lot of things in six weeks. I can't imagine yeah. all the gripes will be fixed. Sure. But I've already bought the game, so I'm definitely mm -hmm. going to play it on launch. I'm okay. going to, you know, well, there you go. stream watch for Pete. some. For, watch P yeah, hate uh, the game. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm going to stream it, but I might play it offline and and see um, where they go. They got to get that camera shake out before I even touch oh, yeah. it. Did That's you did, did that drive you crazy or what? I mean, honestly, I didn't notice a lot, but I was like, man, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. The one thing that drove me nuts is like a huge oversight. So I was playing the. The nimble class, the whatever you mm -hmm. want to call it. I don't even know. Interceptor, I think. Yeah, interceptor, that's right. Uh, and one yeah. of their abilities was like the spark dash where you you, par you port, you, like you charge up for just a second and you port to like your target and you do like a big old flying back kick and it does a lot of damage. I was like, wow, that's a really cool ability. Mm -hmm. And I love mobility. Like that's what I'm all about in FPS. So I put it on and I'm like using it and I kept fucking running into walls. I'm just like, how is this happening? Like this, this, what, what am I doing wrong? And so eventually I figured out that my character had to be aimed at the person I was trying to kick. Not, not just not my crosshair because the crosshair is on him every time. But okay. my character, like, so you fly around on the interceptor and like your character is like facing all kinds of ways because he's got like three dashes and a triple jump, right? Yeah. But you yeah. have to make sure your character is aimed at the mob <laughs> and such a which seems terrible, like it would yeah. really slow down your speed of, which is the right. whole point point. and it's yeah. like how is that even not even caught and if it was caught like how did that make it through because like that doesn't play fun at all so yeah man this is like little uh, stuff like that felt, it's like yeah that's yeah funny. i felt super squishy so i i this last demo i tried the storm and i tried the colossus and I didn't have a shield for the Colossus. I guess it doesn't start you with one. I don't know. I guess I had to farm it. And it just felt bad without the shield. I didn't really enjoy what I was doing enough to farm the shield. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I'm done with this. And I hopped on Storm. And Storm actually felt pretty damn cool. It felt really cool to fly around for a really long time. Just the verticality of it made it really awesome. And once you got the controls from switching from aiming in the air to flying in the air, and you could like adjust your, your um, height, it was really cool. But... Mm -hmm. You were so damn squishy, it felt like. And with no radar, enemies could creep up on you pretty easily. Like, there's no way to tell. And those are just, I guess, play style differences that I'm like, well, I guess if you played a lot, you would learn to adjust your style to, to fit that. But um, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm with you. It just didn't feel good enough for me to, like, yeah, man, go buy the game. Like, sure. nah, you should probably probably wait. 
I'll yeah. Get, I mean, way. the most fun I had is like our group member quit, and it was just like me and my friend trying to do like the hard difficulty of the dungeon. That was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Like it was just like because we were yeah. under damaged, like so we were grinding forever, just getting your butts kicked. Right. Yeah. Uh, and that was cool. And it, but then you look at the difficulties, and the difficulties are literally just like ten thousand more life, ten thousand more damage. So it's like that's not really a good system of scale, and mm -hmm. it's kind of like the the WoW complex where like yeah, the dungeons get harder, you know, the more you go up, but like n nothing really changes. It's just like wow, like that mechanic. No so new much mechanics more, are introduced. It's just or more anything. punishing, yeah. right? Um, yeah. So yeah, I, that's the one thing that's you know it's good about Diablo. Like, I don't know, I don't know, but yep, interesting. It'll it, we'll see how it goes when yeah. it launches. But uh, I'm with you. Like I said, I've already bought it, so I'll play it, and maybe it'll be awesome, and they'll have a lot of things fixed. And if yeah. not, it'll be there waiting for you know if they ever get things polished up, you know mm -hmm. we'll jump in it and try it out. So um, that being said, a lot of people love the game, which yeah surprises me but there was a I, there was a lot of positive feedback yeah. on it where people are super stoked about it and they loved it and uh not just shills i mean there were actual people in my community that were like oh my god it was so much fun i loved it yeah and i'm like okay cool I'm so excited. you know it was weird yep. too because like i would tweet at them like the things that i'd i find or like if i was saying something somewhat negative in my twitch chat like someone i'd never seen before would be like Oh, you realize like all these are fixed in the live version. Lol. Like, I, there's so many like white knights for this game. I don't understand it. Like, <laughs> there's like just developers. It's uh -huh. like I, I don't know. The, like, there's so a lot weird. of people pissy about it too. Yeah. Though. There's a lot of people that that wrote it off before they even played it. And uh, this this Apex Legends game is backed by EA, I yeah. believe, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So this is another EA title. Um, so I, you know. I don't know, man. I'm not on the EA hate bandwagon. Sure. I think they screwed up for sure, but I'm not gonna instantly boycott their products. Right. They, you know, right. if they make a good game, I'll play it. And if they don't, I won't. I won't give them my money. Yeah, it's know? just weird that everyone's like, "Oh, so, you're so wrong." And I was like, "What do you?" <laughs> like, I'm just pointing yeah. out. Like, here's the thing: is people come in and be like, "Oh, you realize this is all for, fixed," and like the this isn't the live version. Like, you're you're getting like a one of the alpha versions or something like that. And I'm like, well, if that's true, like, why would they? do that like it's the open demo this is what people are this is their first impression of the game and yeah you're not going to give them like I, the most up-to-date non-buggy i feel like their sales numbers would have been drastically better had they not done the demo yeah i, I really do I, I yeah yeah i think the demo turned a lot of people away and my thought is was this kind of like the diablo pre blizzcon message where they're like you know what guys we're gonna piss a lot of people off if we release the game and the, all this shit's wrong like maybe we let them play it so we can be like we let you play it mm -hmm. you know yeah i don't know man but that's like know. it's but, like D division two for example like division two is not gonna do an open game and i'm 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 super skeptical of games that don't do that in this day and age because it is like what you said like it's probably smarter for anthem because anthem had so much hype yeah to not i think they would have sold more demo. copies yeah, for sure absolutely yeah um and so, like, Division, that's what makes me, like, skeptical about Division 2 because it's, like, they're not going to do an open. They so they lifted much... the embargo recently, and, and a lot of these content creators have been able to put out Division 2 info. Yeah. And um, it looks good to me. The, the, my biggest thing is this, like, Division, a big Division expansion that they're just marketing it as Division 2. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it's almost like, okay, well, let's see if enough changes to actually warrant a new number on the game. Um, so... But, you know, everybody that's played it says yes. So, yeah. I, you know, who knows? Yeah. Um, no, none of the, the content creators are bad-mouthing it at all. But it's yeah. hard to say. You yeah. know, it, it's hard to say. So. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's kind of it in the gaming world this week. That's, that's all the stuff that I, mean, I had. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. It really is. We, we, got, uh, we got some Twitter questions. You want to hit them up? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Um, the first question, and if you guys don't know the Twitter section, I get the questions from my Twitter every day mm -hmm. on Tuesdays in the morning. I'll post a, uh, new meta, uh, topic. You can reply to that. You can hit me up in discord or on Twitter's same for fluff. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the first question comes from, uh, Maester Magus and he says, what spell of fiction, poison, thunder, frozen, other than jug, are you most frustrated by? Least favorite. 
That's what it sounds like. Other than Jug. I mean, Jug. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, Jug. So Shielder much. sucks, but I mean, it's like, I don't know. I mean, um, Shielder sucks if you're what? Playing on DH? Illusory, yeah. illusory or whatever it sucks if you're playing DH. Yeah, um, it's a lot based on what you're playing, to be honest. A small hallway with laser beams is not fun. Yeah. So arcane I'd say, honestly, horde, horde, horde arcane, probably. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Because it's just like, you can't come. And especially if they're horde arcane and they're mobs that like don't chase you. And so, but like, the only just for the record, them. for the record, Jug. Yeah, jug, 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 jug. Jug is the ultimate troll in Diablo. Like, I don't, I, yeah, I don't, God, I still don't know why that's in the game. Whoever put that in there, you trolled me so well. Yeah, because like, you succeeded. We're, we'll tell the story again, just real quick. And we have told it once before, but it, they took away, a, they had a mob type of fiction, an affix called double health. And people bitched mm-hmm. and complained forever about getting this out yep. of the game. And they finally did it. They took it out of the game, and everyone in the community is like, oh, my God, we won. And then, like, <laughs> uh, got you. fucking six months later, they had Juggernaut, which is double health mob with fucking CC immunity. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, Jesus. What yeah, I don't know, thinking? man. It's, so I, that's that's the only one. I yeah. think everything else is semi-balanced. Yeah. So uh, uh, Reflect used to be pretty nasty too, but they nerfed it yeah. and in a good way. But you used now, to like, one shot yourself on Reflect. DH is like the only thing yeah. that dies to it now. Yeah. So um, Varkov says, "How do you feel if they got rid of legendary gems and made them part of quote new items? Legendary gems are kind of pointless with the same five or six being cookie cutter in every single build. So I think what he's saying is like, let's say they took Convention of Elements and just like threw it into, or I mean not Convention, um, Bane of the Trap, yeah. and just like threw it into." Oh, an item. The Let's just say like uh, Bokathos Wedding Band right. had Bane of the Trap now. Yeah. The problem is, yeah, you, the problem is yeah. you have to always use that item. Right. You know? So you so. lose build diversity because you have to like, well, now I have to choose between Bane of the Trap and like Crispin Sentence in the queue. Mm-hmm. That's, you know. I, I think the only way to keep the gems uh, fun is to rotate them. I think the underliers need to get buffed and that just has to continuously yeah. happen. Because there's always going to be those gems that are there's always a bane of the trap. Like bane of the trap is used in every single DPS build ever since it's since it was put in the game. Flat damage modifier. I mean, yeah. And so the only way to get rid of that is to a nerf it, which nobody Mm -hmm. likes nerfs. Right. Or b just make another gem better, and then you're going to complain about that gem. So then two patches later, you got to make another gem better, and just keep rotating the gems that way, which is again going to introduce power creep, and then you have to address power creep somehow. Right. So well, Bane the Trap um, originally, I'm pretty sure it was developed to be like a melee gem because of the secondary affect. Yeah. And the size is meant to be the range, but mm-hmm. you don't absolutely have to have the, the secondary to proc Bane the Trap. So now it's like even the range classes use it as a staple. So like I, I yep. like I like Zeiss. Like Zeiss is smart. Like the further you are away, the more damage you do. And like that's pretty cool. I'm I'm with you. Like that's totally fine to mm-hmm. me. But Bane the Trap, where it's just like you get flat damage if they're snared, basically. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Kind of dumb. Yeah. Um, this is kind of a, a long, interesting one, but uh, Demi Tuesdays said it, he's got a wizard set idea. And um, okay. he wanted me to, to run it past you real quick. It says his two set for wizards says that enemies who take lightning damage become magnetized. And enemies are pulled to each other when they take lightning damage. So it makes every enemy magnetic. And I think that's a really cool two set. I actually like that. Um, the four piece is attack speed of lightning skills is doubled. Hitting an enemy affected by magnetism gives you an absorb shield for X amount of your HP stacking X amount of times. So the, the defensive in the four piece. And then the six piece uh, increases the damage of wave of force, hydra, storm armor, blizzard by X percent sure. and increases the damage of signature spells by X percent. Okay. So, so. two piece and six piece, I'm with you. Six piece, mm-hmm. damage from fighter to derp. Two piece, mm-hmm. uh, you can add maybe. I already know where you're going. Make a support class, right? With two mm-hmm. piece. Four piece, like you're saying things that kind of already exist. Like mm-hmm. there's the bracers that give you shield. Yep. And what was the other part of the four piece? It was increases lightning speed. Uh, attacks or yeah, skills so are doubled. What man, all so, set? Speed I don't know. 
I'm yeah. with I'm with you. That's a good uh, idea. Two pieces. Yeah, I'm with you too. I think the two piece set is a really great idea. I think the magnetism part portion of that could make some really interesting dynamics because yeah. you have to magnetize the enemies and then you can group them up by just hitting them. That's cool. That makes some really interesting Z Wizard sets. Uh, but yeah, man. I mean, I think it's a cool idea, and I think um, I think any new sets. Yeah, it's gonna are be cool. Gonna be and intriguing. The one thing you know they I mean? figured out with Necro is <laughs> it's easy. It's it's easy to make a set. Come on, like two piece weird, four piece mitigation, six piece damage. It's not. Yep. Quantum mechanics. Yep. It's come on. Grab, get a get a big um a big wheel of fortune wheel. Yeah. Put all the skills yes. of the game in there. Spin the wheel. We should whatever do that. It stops we on, should do that. That's some stream, man. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. Whatever it stops on, that's your yeah. your skill. Now you have to you know figure out a two piece right. and a and a. It's four piece, six piece, or just write down so, a bunch of random weird things random that two piece could do, and then we know mm -hmm. four pieces mitigation and six pieces damage modifier. So, boom, yeah, we have you just spin the wheel. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, demonic Chris says, "What's the backstory on how you got your name and became Lord of the Fluff?" Oh man, have we told this on the podcast before? I don't know. I know I've told mine on stream like a billion times, but I don't know. Yeah, but he asked about yours. He mm. wants to know where, where you got your name. I mean, so, so I was a bridge version. Yeah, if, you, you know. if I can. Uh, so I was a pro Heather player uh, under the name Special K. Uh, Special K uh, became widely known around like 2003, 2004 as a date rape drug. So I changed it, <laughs> and just by <laughs> chance, um, this land center that would like pay me to play out there it was hosting a tournament, and he told us, my team at the time, that we couldn't play together. Uh, so we, I ended up playing with like one of my best friends, and we're just like, we'll just make cutesy names, and so that's what we did. And then everyone kept saying, "Who the fuck is Fluffy, and why does he keep killing me?" And I was just dying of laughter, so I kept the name. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Eddie said, "What do you think of the season theme around gems, i.e., season of stricken or season of trapped? Does it help build? Uh, does it help builds kill guardians quicker and free up gem slots for more defensive gems, etc.? It would have to be specific uh, gems like stricken and trapped, like that everybody mm -hmm. would benefit from. But if it's like Zai's and those, yeah, those wouldn't even. I mean, stricken, I guess, would work for Z characters because you're going to automatically apply a slow to people. Mm -hmm. But I, I personally think that's super weak. Um, I, I think yeah, that they can be better, right? You know, I, I I'm so saying. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just saying like I would be disappointed if that's what we got because I think they can do better than that. And I think the royal ring buff is like the entry bar for what I expect in the future. Mm -hmm. And I hope that this is the entry point, not the finish line, because sure. I'm expecting bigger and better things yeah. now. I mean this this is this has been an actual seasonal theme that's cool, you know. For the first time so let's take this further let's get right. new things cooler things right and it's like so. i was just trying to say it's like he did like a season of eyes like what does condemn crusader get out of that you know what i mean yeah so exactly yeah it, it, it'd have to be stricken yeah the, the generic. and then your z characters don't benefit yeah. so you know yeah it sucks who, you know, but they I don't, don't need like more maybe you toughness. could pick i don't know get yeah. them all a season of all the gems all, all of the gems. gems all the things all the gems um Stretch says, uh, what musical acts have you seen the most in concert? I don't know about the most. I've seen a lot. Yeah, I don't go to a lot of concerts. Uh, I don't know. There's something about just like having my eardrums like blasted out of my head that I don't like mm -hmm. really love. Um, but I've, uh, go ahead. yeah, no, I, I've seen Linkin Park twice. That's the most. <laughs> <laughs> it's all LP twice. Like, did you don't you like pay LP? money for that? Or? Yeah. How do you not like LP? <laughs> I saw him. So I saw them twice, man. I saw them once before they became super famous when they okay. were on the come up. It was, um, I want to say 99 okay. or 2000. Like they opened up for, good God, man. Was it uh, Head PE or I don't know. Man. It wasn't even like a big show. It mm -hmm. was really weird. And then they kind of started to blow up. And then I saw them um, again. I don't remember what bands they were with, but they were the main act that time. Yeah. So, uh, no, I didn't pay money though. My, Oh, yeah. there you go. So I got I got free tickets. I'm judging both times. you less. I had I had I had hookups. I had peoples that worked in the uh, music business, and they would give me tickets to anything I wanted ever. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I have seen Lake Street Dive uh, at least three or four times. I'm going to go see Lake him again Street Dive. July. Yeah, 
It's a uh, girl, Rachel what? Price. I'm telling you, man, if you just Google one of the songs and you listen to it, you'll be like, oh, shit, this voice. What uh, kind of music is it? Um, good question. It's not like, I don't know, I wouldn't even know how to describe it. Like, it's alternative. I don't know. All right, say her name one more time for those of us that are going to Google her. Later. Rachel Price, Lake Street Dive is the band. But Rachel Price Lake Street is Dive. the singer. All right, I'll check her out. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna go see him at Red Rocks with Lindsay. Uh, we I was supposed to awesome. see him with Red like when we first started dating, and then like she couldn't go, so I ended up going with like my good friend. Um, and that was like one of the first times I did edibles. I woo! I couldn't feel my leg. Like he was like, "Hey, okay, it's time to go." And I tried to get up, and I like my legs wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like g- trying to guide <laughs> me to leave, and I'm like going up and down stairs, and like I had to climb over, like you know, when you like leave a stadium and you like climb over the seats yeah and so he like climbed over the seats and then we went up a staircase and i was like are you taking me through some kind of obstacle course man <laughs> <laughs> i can't believe you admitted that so oh my god um that sounds interesting no. i'll check it out yeah uh join the parasite says uh what do we think about apex legends we kind of talked about that so we'll, we'll gloss over that one but yeah uh, I'm glad. I'm glad it's there. No reason not to check Fortnite. it out. If it, even like if you're looking at it and you're like, oh, I could have fun. Like you should just check it out. It's free. Just play. So, it. Just try yeah, it. it. Cost you nothing. Yeah. And then, um, Art guy says, "What's your favorite meme?" Hmm. If if I would have had more time to prepare for that one, I probably could have actually found it and, and showed you. But favorite meme. My, one of my favorite of all time is Michael Scott going, no, 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 no. no. Like when he freaks <laughs> yeah. out, you know, because mm-hmm. I love The Office and I remember that episode and I, you know, I could use that in so many different sure. life scenarios, you know, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I'm going to go with that one. That just made me think of TV. I'll just go with TV show meme. Pivot, I think. I that was, Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> Friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pivot. Yeah. Pivot. We, we used to actually say that quite a bit. Oh, I every time I've moved, yeah. I, I say it every time I <laughs> yeah, moved. I'm yeah. like, yeah, right. right. So if you guys don't know what we're talking about, in case you're you know too young for that sure. friends crowd, uh, yeah, Ross and yeah. and Chandler were carrying this couch, couch up yeah. the fi- fire escape, I believe. Yeah, and uh, they were trying to get it out, and Ross was screaming "pivot," and it was so goddamn funny, yeah. man. That was so good. pretty good. good, pretty good. Uh, the last last question for the night, creamy <laughs> uh, creamy down nut says. Mm. Right. What if they cut to the chase and started everyone at level seventy for the season, dropped Hedrick's gifts, but they, uh, and I think he says and drops Hedrick's gifts, meaning like they got rid of them, but hmm. increase the drop rates. Would that be bring back the fun? No. Um, <laughs> so I agree with one of those things. Uh, right. Getting rid of the Hedrick's gifts. Yeah, I think. We should, yeah. I think, as cool as they are. We've talked about this so many times. I think that Diablo's main uh, selling point is the fact that um, getting the loot feels so good Mm. and and getting that power creep feels so good. And getting the Hadrick's gifts removes so much of that power creep from the start of the season. I think people would love that grind again. And they might say, like the casuals might say that they, oh, this sucks. I never get anything I Mm -hmm. need. They're going to quit anyways. Sure. They're going to get their Hadrick's gift. They're going to do a 70, unlock their primal, and then be like, well, I got, you know, I got nail biter. I guess I'm going to quit playing. You know what I mean? And But the, those of us that actually grind the season, instead of doing a 95 on night one, we're going to do like maybe T13 if we can get a yeah. set. Maybe, mm-hmm. you know. That's, Everything yeah. else they'll know. So first of all, it, it's Hadrick. Jesus Christ. Good job. Um, and two... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like it's one of the things I've been like saying for a long time is like if they just reduce the amount of bad items that were in the loot pool, I think they should actually decrease drop chances because if you get statistically better items every single time you see a drop, they don't have to drop stuff as much. Mm-hmm. So I don't think that increasing the drop rate would be a good thing for Diablo at all. It, like if you play PTR where they have increased drop rate, it's a mess. It's just like mm-hmm. you go back to town it, it in a gives, T13 rift, you know. You waste more time not playing the game, yeah. too, if you're managing inventory right. and loot the whole time. Yeah, It's just like Kadala. So do you, if you remember a long time ago, Kadala used to cost less 
for items, but she had a lower drop chance, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then they were like, well, we're spending so much that we're going to increase the drop chance and increase the item cost so you're not having to gamble as much. We're back at that point again. Yeah. It's like Kadala needs to have the prices increased, the drop rates slightly maybe increased, I don't know, um, or the blood shard cap increased. Mm -hmm. It just seems like we spend a lot of time managing inventory. You blow up a 105 or a 100 or whatever the, the cap limit drops, but you get 12 legendary items or, you know, between 10 to 12 legendary items at the end of that rift. And it's like, okay, you're managing those items and doing another one. It would be, think if you only got two or three items at the end of that rift, but they're all more, more usable mm -hmm. loot pool. You're spending less time managing inventory, more time killing monsters. I think that's a win-win. Yeah. So good. Agreed. Agreed. That's it, man. That's all the questions we had. So if you guys want to ask questions again, Discord, YouTube uh, comments are not a great spot. We may not see them there. Twitter, mm -hmm. Discord are the places mm -hmm. to, to drop those. So Yeah. Easy. That's all I got, man. I hope your wisdom tea thing heals up better. Yeah, hope I'm hoping that like when this numbness wears off, like I just don't die, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to catch more of me, I'm the Pea Child. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, everywhere at the Pea Child, and I'll be live right after the podcast. Yeah, yeah. And I'm Lord underscore Fluffy. Double those underscores on Twitter, and we'll see you guys next week. Peace out, my dudes. <laughs>